Hey traders, what's up? Let's talk about how to grow small trading accounts. How to grow it 5 times or even 10 times. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the hardest working forex trading channel. Every week I bring you new videos to improve your learning curve in the forex market. Growing small accounts is one of the most popular topics in the forex trading community. I know of new traders who start trading with $2,000 $3,000 and even $10,000 as their first deposit into their broker account. And guess what? They blew it all. The money! My God, Dad! All of our money? In my view, it was better for them to first deposit $500 or $200 as their first deposit in the forex trading market. And on the other hand, there are beginner traders who start trading with $50 or even $100. Well, the thing about growing small accounts is that it takes a lot of risk and you should be prepared to lose all your money. It is very possible to grow your $200 account 5 times or even 10 times. But realistically, getting it to somewhere 50000 can be impossible or it can take a lot of time and patience. So talking about growing small accounts, it starts from the broker. You're going to need a broker that's going to give you the option of selecting a higher leverage. Higher leverage can be very rewarding and as well can be very risky. If you look into my description box, you find some good brokers that gives you the option of selecting a higher leverage and their deposits and withdrawal method are very excellent. Now you can click them and sign up to one of those. Wait, wait, I think I got an idea. If you don't know what leverage is, I'm going to put a link right here. You can click on it and watch my video talking about leverage. After signing up to a good forex broker, you need to start trading for a couple of weeks. And the purpose of this is to test your strategy, see what works best and what do not work for your strategy. You can be trading with the bull flag strategy or even the breakout strategy or any one that works best for your trading style. After this, what you need to be thinking of right now is your risk to reward ratio. A lot of risk management books talk about risking 2%, 3% or even 5% on your trade. Now, that's, you're not going to go by that rules, you're going to go in big and take a lot of profit from the market. We are going to go in pretty heavy for some profits and there is a high risk we can lose all our money. Now we know there is no free lunch and sometimes you have to risk it for the biscuits. Let the party begin! Whenever I'm going in for a high risk trade, I make sure the market is on a run. Whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend, you know the market moves in three directions, up, down and sideways. I never place high risk trades when the market is trading towards a sideways direction. Make, uh, make, make a note of that. For high risk trades, you should be able to identify the trends to avoid squeezes in the market so that you don't blow your forex trading account. One bad thing I find about beginner traders and intermediate traders is that whenever they place a trade and they are making profits, they are just in a rush to close their trades and take the small profits. It can be a very, very, very bad idea. This is because you realize that anytime you've made losses in the market, your losses is greater or higher than the profits you've made and it can be sinking your trading account. So guys, anytime you're about to enter a trade, you should, you should know your take profit limits, where you're going to take your profits, set that take profit, have that plan before you enter the trade so that you're not confused when you're making profits in the market. And one other thing is that when traders begin to be profitable in the market, they become extremely happy. Oh, yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> now, I want you to know that the idea for stepping into the forex trading business is to make profits. So it should be like a right for you to make profits. Is that right? That's right. And you shouldn't be extremely happy to make profits in the market because it leads to overconfidence and that can wreck you forex trading business and you need to be strong in your losing streak days there's gonna be a time your analysis is on point you have a good setup you play straight and you'll be making losing and losing trades now you need to go back to the exercise table learn from your mistakes what you didn't do right and what you did right and now come back stronger and make profit in the forex trading business or the forex market. I believe this technique is really going to be helpful for you in your forex trading journey. Now try it out and put down a comment below and let's see how it went. A like and a sub wouldn't be bad for our channel. It's a bank lifestyle. We'll meet on the next one next week. Sign out. What's up YouTube fam? I hope you love this video and it's really going to be informative for you 
in your trades. Now it's time for our giveaway winner. We got Maureen De Castro. You shared our last video and you made a lot of people subscribe to our channel. So guess what the prize is? You get a $20 cash prize and a headset. So anyone can enter our giveaway. The details are pinned in the comments box. And please remember, I will never send you a message telling you you've won a cash prize. All our winners are going to be announced at the end of our video. Good luck and you'll meet on the next one.